Welcome back. Today we're doing a comparison of the infamous Pink Pig livery on the 2018 Porsche 911 RSR that raced in the 24 hours of the month. This model has been out for a few years and it wasn't until recently that we had another company producing the exact same car. Not that this company is the only unique company to produce the Pink Pig Porsche, but it is the only, only one that I know of that also produces a 118th scale of this particular Le Mans winning car. And this company is IXO. Now, the IXO Pink Pig has been around for about a year now. And it is a great looking replica of the winning car. As I move this turntable around, you're probably not going to see that many differences right away, but it isn't until you start looking up close that you do see the differences. Now, Spark is a very good model company they make some really great race cars as we all know i'm really liking what they've been doing with their formula one cars and the gt cars are just as good you have all the expected details that you would want out of a replica of the real thing you have the really well detailed tires and wheels and they are definitely replicated to a T so they look very realistic which is a great thing. You have perforated grills throughout. I'll include the front as well. No surprise again for a model of this price point. Now this is not going to be an in-depth review of the Spark model only because Spark is a great model company and I think as I go through the differences you'll see the quality in the model anyway. Now, the other model being the IXO in the pink pig livery is, as I mentioned, very good. The shape is very identical to the Spark model. There will be a side-by-side -side comparison in a few minutes. Um, the wheel detail, again, is very good for this model. It's actually surprisingly good for this price point. It could include the front and the back as well. All of the expected decals are there. Another great surprise from this IXO is that it does include perforated grills. Now, this grill for the side here is not as well detailed as the Spark, as the Spark has some transparency to it. This particular model, the IXO, does not. But in the front of the model, It does have a fully perforated grill. It is obviously a little bit slightly different than what Spark has. Spark is definitely more accurate to the real thing, but the fact that it's there is a major plus. The headlight detail is almost identical. The Spark has a little more detail to it. You can see the chrome of the lighting is a little more reflective to the light than the IXO. You're going to see this a lot. There's some subtle differences that you're going to see a lot. On each one of these models, the decals are either larger on one model or smaller. It depends on the decal. As you can see, the, the 70 on the um, IXO is smaller than the decal on the Spark. The bell is a little bit smaller. Spark is a little bit larger. But there are some where it's the other way around, where there's some decals, lettering, scripting that is actually larger on the Spark and smaller on the IXO. Moving on to the back of the model, there are definitely some detailed differences. I do like the exhaust and the way it's laid out on the IXO. Obviously there's some elements missing there that the Spark does include. You have this Pro decal and I've noticed that again they look very similar to each other. The sizing is about the same. This decal here is a little bit larger than the one there. So again, the point being is that differences are definitely subtle. The tail lights on the Spark are definitely more detailed versus the IXO. This is little differences in the latches in the back of the, I, in the Spark. 
that excels just a simple silver piece. You have this little red um, clip that's on the Spark model. The diffuser. Both of these diffusers are made of plastic. The IXO is a little more thicker than the Spark piece. The Spark piece is mimicking what would be more or less sheet metal or carbon fiber and it does definitely look a little more accurate than the IXO. All of the aerials, antennas for recording and providing information to the folks in the pits are there. Nothing's missing. The IXO's antenna the back one here is a little exaggerated. It's longer than the specifications. The, the Spark is definitely a little more accurate when it comes to that as well. Let's move to a side-by-side -side view so you can also see some differences. As well. Take a look at the side view comparison of the two. You have the Spark at the bottom. You have the IXO at the top. First of all, the number decal is larger on the IXO than it is the Spark that goes for the Pro as well. The tires, the scripting is different. That may be just the time in which or the moment in which both of these cars were actually used for their model creation. So that could be the only reason for that. Um, this side window here where you have the venting on the spark, which is a true venting. This is a solid piece on the IXO. It also goes for this little pull strap here too to shut off. It's missing on the IXO and there's no hole there. You also can take a look at these side vents as well. The spark is truly perforated. You can see behind it as well. The IXO, it's perforated, but the holes are so thin you can't really see through it. But it, it is still a good quality piece. And you could go through this entire car as far as all the differences and you probably could find quite a few. Most of them have a lot to do with the sizing that I'm noticing. You know, some being larger on one car and the others being smaller on the other car. There's some finer details. The IXO actually has these small little uh, body panel bolts. They actually do have the silver which would make it mimic a true bolt whereas the spark is colored the same as the rest of the car. Don't know which one is more accurate but it is something that I've noticed. Here's another difference there. So again you can go through and definitely see differences here. Um, the spark definitely has more details you can see and it's these little subtle things like this here which I wouldn't have any idea what it is but this is just a simple decal on the front of the IXO right beneath this canard here whereas with the spark it's a true 3D hole there. So yes there are definitely some differences. Um, they're not so significant that it really detracts from the realism of the models but it is something to point out. It's another one I just found where the wing on the spark is a little more um, level, whereas the IXO actually is, faint, is turned back a little bit. But these wings are adjustable, so it could again be which you know time that these cars actually get captured for the basis of their models. The wheel detail on the IXO is very good. You have all the elements that you'd expect out of a very well done model. You have these slotted rotors. You do have the brake caliper. And this very nicely done print for the Michelin tire scripting is on there as well. The spark is a, just... The spark is more defined. You do have a very well detailed um, disc for the rotors, but I would definitely say it's about equal with the
the spark wheel does have a little more information on it as the BBS decal whereas the uh, IXO did not you do have the very nicely done brake rotor you have the little bolts there you have the AP scripting on the caliper as you probably have noticed there are some side-to-side -side differences in the two models mostly again as I showed you on the side view is just the sizing of the decals so in this case you have the spark model which has a smaller 92 decal the pro is actually about the same size for each one oh, the sparks might be a little bit bigger the best way you can determine that or see that is just the outline in which the decal is actually placed on each one of them and how far it reaches to the very end of this particular piece here you see this house you see the line of the frunk here and look how much closer it's to the line on the IXO so these are little things that are somewhat different from each model the tow hook on this spark is thinner the IXO is thicker and it stands out a little bit further scrolling back the Hearn H-I-R-N it's a little bit bigger on the IXO than it is a spark as well material used for this um, I don't know what this is but one is larger than the other I think that's a form of an antenna and then you have this script here and then on the spark it has it in red and white and and just these little things that are missing off of the IXO a little bit further you have your Porsche sign and the Porsche looks pretty much identical I'd have to say that the print on the IXO is just a little bit thinner than what you see on the spark model IXO interior is pretty good look at that steering wheel lots of nice detail there you have the race tech on the seats along with the Porsche you have the safety net on one side only roll bar now the interior should be all white and not black inside but it's all blacked out you don't have those controls at the bottom on the floor as you do with the spark spark and tear has some decent details to them you have the safety net on both sides you can see a little carbon Kevlar on the back of that seat there and then you have the race tech seat and the cabin is all flat white which is correct you can see some controls on the floor there some decals on there as well I'm pretty sure most of you if not all of you as you're looking at this comparison probably said to yourselves man there really isn't that much difference in these cars and you'd be absolutely right if you're someone who absolutely wants the most perfect best detailed model of a Porsche sports car then the spark is for you if you're someone who wants the shape and pretty much the essence of that car the IXO is for you and if you really think about it if you're creative enough if you're somebody who's into basically modifying models you could create some of the bits and parts that are missing off of that IXO especially some of those pool lines I mean that's simple as taking a, a bread tie a metal bread tie and basically painting it and there you are so that is something to keep in mind the other thing to keep in mind is think about it that IXO is about 90% of where that spark model is so you're getting 90%
for 50% off because the IXO model retails typically around $80 to $100 US, whereas the Spark is $199 US. Again, you're getting 90% for half off. Now, if IXO made these models two, even three years ago, man, I for one would have got some of those Porsche models from IXO instead of the ones from Spark models. That's how good they are. And if you're on a budget, that means you could have got two cars for one for 90% of the detail. <laughs> IXO is a very interesting company. They've been around for a very long time, and this is definitely making me think I should do a video specifically just on the IXO. But this line that they've had for almost a year now is fantastic. Not only are they doing a plethora of Porsche sports race cars, they also are doing some of the prototypes as well. They even have a Ford GT that raced in Le Mans 2016. So again, it goes back to if you're on a budget and you're looking for a very well detailed model, it's not going to be perfect, but it is done well enough that I think a lot of us, and that includes me, don't mind that it's missing a few details. Please like and subscribe. That is the best way I'm going to know that you're enjoying these videos. I do appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you next time.